quick. Graph y equals e to the 2x minus 1 by hand, two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. First decide what the parent function is and its shape. Parent function is y equals e to the x, and its shape is this with an asymptote. Uh, I like to refer to it as an easy chair. Identify the parameters. These are values in the ex expression that affect the graph, and there are two different parameters here. How do they affect this graph? Well, the minus 1 shifts all points down 1, including the asymptote which is going to go from y equals 0 to y equals negative 1. Also, it affects the new origin. The new origin will be at 0. It's not affected here. Negative 1 because all points shift down 1. So let's go ahead and plot 0, negative 1. And all points will be plotted relative to this so-called new origin. The 2 is in the exponent. Recall that the coefficient 2 is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor, the reciprocal of that. That is, we're going to multiply each x value by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half. So we're ready to do the e to the x dance. And here are our powers of e that we need to know. So normally we go right 0 up 1. In this case, we'll stay right 0 up 1 because multiplying that 0 by half has not affected at all. We call it that e to the 0 is 1. Then we go right 1 up e. In this case, we're going to go right a half up e, which is about 2.7. Right 2 up e squared, but in this case, we're going to go right 1 up e squared, which is about 7.4. Half of 2 is 1. In the other direction to the left, left 1 up e to the negative 1, which is about 0 0.4. But in this case, we're going to go left half up 0 0.4 because of that half factor there. And then left 2 up e to the negative 2 becomes left 1 up e to the negative 2, which is about 0 0.14. We're ready to connect the points into a easy chair look and compare it to the parent function. And you can see that it's a, uh, been shifted down and is a little bit um, narrower. Using a table, these are our five points that we usually plot on the parent function, y equals e to the x. The two, we need to multiply each x value by its reciprocal, one half. So two times a half is one. I'd like you to go ahead and finish those four values. Pause to do so. Resume when you're ready. And taking half of each of those x coordinates. Press pause as you need to any time. The minus 1, we need to subtract 1 from each y value. So 7.4 minus 1 would be 6.4. And then we can plot the point 1, 6.4. We're going to ask you to pause and finish these four points, plot them, and finish the graph. Resume when you're ready. Two point seven minus one is one point seven, so over a half up one point seven. One minus one is zero, so the origin is on this graph. Four tenths minus one is negative six tenths. So negative a half comma negative six tenths. And 0 0.14 minus one is negative 0 0.86. So we'll plot negative one comma negative 0 0.86. We need to draw the asymptote. You can see it's gonna be flattening out along the line y equals negative one. So we'll draw that line. And connect the points to make it look like an easy chair. And we also like to compare it to the parent function. Now you try one. Graph y equals e to the 1 half x power plus 2. Use either method or both for the practice. 
Press pause to do this and resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here's your answer in green, the graph, and also your, the table of the values.